In the lead-up to D-Day, a series of strange events unfolded in the crossword puzzle of the British newspaper, The Daily Telegraph. This seemingly harmless pastime caused a security scare when several top-secret codewords for the invasion appeared as solutions in the puzzle. The first incident occurred in 1942. The word, Dieppe, the name of a French port city targeted for a raid, showed up as a solution in the crossword the day before an Allied raid. Fearing a leak to the Germans, alarms were raised. But an investigation concluded it was just a coincidence. Fast forward to 1944. With D-Day approaching, more of these coincidences appeared in the Telegraph's crosswords. Words like Gold, Sword, and Juno, all code names for invasion beaches, appeared as solutions. While common words, they again raised eyebrows within British intelligence. By May 1944, coincidence stretched thin. Five more crucial D-Day codewords became solutions. Utah and Omaha, for US landing beaches, Mulberry, for the planned portable harbors, Neptune, for the naval phase of the invasion, and Overlord, the codename for the entire invasion. MI5 couldn't ignore it any longer. They suspected espionage and arrested the crossword compiler, a school headmaster named Leonard Da, along with his colleague. Both were intensely questioned but ultimately cleared of wrongdoing. The answer to what happened involved a shortcut Da used to create his crosswords. He would enlist his students to fill in blank crossword squares with words, then craft clues for their choices. Da's school was located next to a large American military base, filled with soldiers preparing for D-Day. Security was lax, allowing for interaction between the students and troops. Ronald French, a student in Da's class, learned the code words directly from the soldiers, claiming, the soldiers talked freely in front of me because I was obviously not a German spy. Hundreds of kids must have known what I knew. This incident, officially labeled a coincidence for decades, didn't compromise D-Day's success. It serves as a reminder of how seemingly insignificant details can have major consequences.